Hello. Um, just going to do a little bit of tricking here with some drawing styles. So this is a project I'm working on. So I just want to set it up to do the piece details, do some numbering. So right now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just do a test one. So I'm going to save this and we can see we have a test here already and I'll just do test one. Well, I guess the first one would have been test one. So this can be test two. All right. So now uh, I'll just number the model. Uh, so there was a couple of things I wanted to show you here. I had a mistake, made a mistake here somewhere along the line with my beams. And I was away and all my beams were coming out upside down. So, and now I want to orientate the columns in a different way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up right now. So well, let's just number everything. So I have some lock phases in here. So this should have been updated already, but it's not. So I'm going to add lock phase here before that. Apply. Okay. So yes. So. I'm going to number the job. You can see it's numbering down here. And just give it a second to run through that. 14, number 2, advanced steel. All right, so that'll be done in a second, and then we'll output a column drawn. So we'll just pick two of the easier columns over here. That's our numbering. So I generally number in sections. So I'll probably number here and then number here, then number here, then number all the way along here, and then number all the way to the lower section. So I'll number in five different sections just so the numbers are kind of close to each other. Um, this is just a test one. So now I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go selected assemblies and see C, OK. And that's going to put that column on a drawing. Now, let me select that column and right click, right click and show assembly detail. And this is generally how I like to do my columns this way. Now, obviously, I need to adjust my uh, I need to adjust my scale and my clipping and all that, right? But uh, it works different for different columns, so sometimes you just have to adjust it in here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come in here and uh, some of them are different layers. You can see here we've got all these additional elevation lines. Uh, I don't want those. So generally at the end of a project, I'll do Q select and then go in here multiple and check out height pattern. OK. And I will delete all those height patterns. And now if I come back in here and do labels, update detail, we can see that I missed one. So there's still two, some height patterns there. Not sure why that is. Uh, not seeing any. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Uh, it just takes all those extra points out when you're doing columns. That's not the purpose of the video. I'll fix that later. Uh, so this one would probably move the label over here. I would probably move this view over here. Then you could just delete those points, I guess. Now, as you can see, I can set up my drawing styles, but they're still not set up great, to be honest. You could scale that up if you want. Leave it the same and do the clipping maybe two inches. Okay, it'll make this a little longer, then I'll move it over here. Something like that. All right, so that's what that's going to look like. So this one, I can take that out. All right, clean up your labels, whatever. Right, so I guess the point would be now. Let's go to output and let's go into your drawing styles and 
uh, let's go back for a second just to show you so if I go in here we can see this is using ADM column these are all names I have I would not name it like that now but let's go back in and let's go to assemblies and column ADM column down here so if we come in here we can see view arrangement go here you can see there's a front view and the model box is object front okay top object top call it bottom object bottom if I go in here to the front view um, and go to view definition you can see that this definition is showing the view direction is object front now one of my on one of my other projects on my laptop I got messed up here and this got changed to like object bottom and all my drawings were coming out upside down it was driving me bananas and of course you'd start switching the the beams just rotating them and stuff instead of just going in and fixing it like it took a minute to fix it but I was away and uh, uh, it was a busy time so I'm just going to go through this now so you can see the view arrangement here is like this so I basically want to keep everything the same but I want to do a new drawing style so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to do ADM column and we'll call it horizontal horizontal oh horizontal now we'll come in here and you can see here view arrangement preview and then the orientation is perpendicular and if I do change this to standard you can see it has turned all these around the way the beams are apply okay so now I've applied that drawing style so let me see if I go back in will it allow me to apply it to this one use that pick that here and it might work it looks like it's going to work and it's going to rotate that around you can see that's the two views that's a little weird right so they they came in over each other so what we're going to do is let's go to the drawing style so the drawing style I used was this one so go to user drawing properties assemblies selected uh, I'll add, I'm in advance there going to user drawing processes selected this one here you want to come down here and if we go in here we can see for a column model role it's using this ADM column we'll change this ADM column horizontal apply okay apply okay and then we'll go to the next column and we'll pick the one next to that one uh, I think we picked this one do we let's pick this one selected assembly and let's see this one is now on a sheet um, let's go to show assembly detail and there you can see now it's switched around the other way clearly as you can see there's a little bit of work on each of these but it's generally got you know the height of that the height of that connecting members which I like but I delete a lot so on the columns I don't really need that but that's kind of what I'm looking for now so I'm going to rotate all my columns around this way for at least this project so uh, I don't know why there's more height annotations there there shouldn't be uh, Q select select all okay there is some more here you can see delete and now let's go back in here and this hopefully should disappear uh, the height annotations are great but they can also ruin your column drawings but 
it's just a matter of changing this dimension so rather than deleting all them eventually i will figure out how to just change this to have the extremities instead of all the ones in between you can see we've got some weld symbols we don't need all of these and we got our labels so that's kind of how i'm going to proceed with this i'm going to turn all the columns this way instead so the one with the beams as i said was that my object um, in here column front was screwed up whatever I did so if I go in here this was actually showing the bottom of the beam this only happened to me pretty recently so it drove me a little crazy so it's good practice to go in here and try and figure out what you're doing so basically this is your view these are your five views and they're numbered down here you can see one two is on the top three is on the bottom and you can put obviously in europe these are the other way around i guess that the object top would be below uh, first angle projection i guess so uh, i hope that helps anyone that has any orientation issues with their drawings so standard is like a beam flat and then perpendicular would be for smaller columns i guess 